Have you ever wondered about putting your products inside of a store, like a local store, you know, on consignment and what it would be like, what that process involves and if it is the right option for you? Then if that's what you're thinking about, keep watching because I've done that as well and I have some tips for you and this may or may not be your lane. So let's keep watching. So first thing we want to dive right into is what is consignment, right? What it is when you put your product in a store. So consignment is where you contact a local store owner or even not local, but a small business growing business to put your products inside of their store so that you can gain more customers, maybe sell a few more pieces and they in return will take a commission, you know, some type of percentage, something out of it to, you know, pay them for their troubles as well. They have different types of consignment. People do furniture, clothing, you know, things like that. But for the sake of this video and my channel, we're talking about putting skincare consignment, like skincare products into stores, especially handmade skincare, right? So the first thing you want to go over is consignment agreement. In consignment stores, there are different types of agreements. And some of them include uh, a percentage split of the profit made from your products. So for example, some consignment stores will say, which I think is average to is 60, 40. You get 40%, no, other way around. You get 60% and the store owner may get 40%. So that's really, and yes, that's a lot, right? It's usually that, it's usually that high in most stores because they're considering that, that they're giving you customers and they want to make money off of it. So majority of the time, it is about 60, 40. You do have stores that do 70, 30 usually consignment agreements you can negotiate them some stores do not negotiate but some stores will it's up and it's up to you to find one that will work with you and a percentage that you're looking for consignment agreements also can go from for work exchange as well meaning that some consignment agreements in order for you to get a higher percentage of your product you may need to work in the store so you're extending your labor for a higher percentage of the product so for example what that looks like is a store owner saying yes we have a consignment program and these are our payment agreement you can come in work for x amount of days and as a result you will receive 80 90 percent and i'll take a, a lower percentage probably like 10 20 percent right or you can not come in and work and i'll take 80 percent of the profit and you take 20. right this is an agreement that some stores will do as well now if you're not into working if you're not in if you don't want to work there then that might not be the best arrangement for you because if it's not if if they're taking such a high percentage what are you going to make from the product correct what some people do is if they're not going to do the work exchange they price based on where the location of the store is they might hike up the price so that they can make a profit while still also paying their commission to the store owner a lot of local store owners do have these type of programs because it helps them to you know it helps with their inventory because their store is made up of consignment items there's a lot of stores that are created based on consignment items so this is a business and this is possible let's go into the benefits and what it will do for skincare business and what i think my opinion on you know choosing to put your skincare products in a consignment store but before we get to that let's also talk about the ones you do have consignment store that rent shelves so what this looks like is that a store owner will say you can rent this shelf in my store put your products there pay a monthly fee and they still get a certain percentage you can rent the shelf they still get a percentage, but they get a lower percentage compared to maybe like a 40, they'll probably like take a 10, 20 if you rent the shelf for the month, which isn't a bad deal, I guess. And that, that's what I did. So let's get back to the things that you want to consider before deciding to getting into a consignment agreement. The first thing you want to consider is the shelf life of your products. If this is a skincare product, so if this is not skincare, then you don't have a shelf life. However, if you're making handmade skincare goods, you need to consider the shelf life of your product. This is why your products might last 
only last month let's say this is your first time going into a consignment agreement you do not know how fast your products will sell you do not know what the foot traffic at the store is you do not know where they're placing the product like it's you know a whole world of things so you have to consider the shelf life you literally have to consider how long your products will last this is where you ask the store owner how long is a consignment agreement which should be in your contract anyways but you want to consider that so if your skincare business I wouldn't say put all your products in there but put choose the products that sell well to put in the consignment store do not choose products that don't sell choose products that customers like if you sold these products before especially as a pop-up or anything and they do well choose those products to put in the consignment store because chances are they'll sell there as well if you are doing handmade skincare products consider um you have to think about the shelf placement of your products and where in the store they're going to place your products. Let me explain. Skincare products, especially handmade skincare products, they do not do well in direct sunlight. If your products are being placed in the store and they're being placed in direct sunlight, it can basically speed up the expiration of the product. It can force the products to oxidize, it can react with some of your raw materials inside the product. So it is very important that you discuss with the store owner where your products are going to be stored and make sure that they are out of direct sunlight. I had this experience and when I went to pick up my, you know, when I ended that contract and I went to pick up what was left of my products, which is a lot, they were all went through oxidization because clearly they were in direct sunlight and when they're in direct sunlight shea butter it oxidizes and it goes bad quickly it starts to change and it becomes that whitish color now the store owner probably doesn't know anything about shea butter and how it works probably noticed that probably saw that and didn't really pay much attention to it and didn't bring that to my attention so as a result when i went to go pick them up because they weren't selling in the consignment store they were all bad and i threw them out so be very careful of the placement or where someone is placing your skincare products, handmade skincare products especially. The next thing you want to consider is how does your product age over time? So because in consignment store you do not know how fast your product will be sold, if this is the first time your products are in there, maybe if it's the second time you, you kind of have an idea. If it's the first time you don't know how your products will be sold. Certain, so you have to understand how they age. When I say understand how they age, I'm talking about what happens like what happens to the ingredients over time for example soaps there are certain handmade soaps when they are when they're left to sit out over time they shrink so you need to know that as well because them shrinking might make it seem like probably if the store owner doesn't understand anything about soaps might she probably might think it's bad a customer might see it and think it's small you know things like that so you have to take that into consideration as well if you sell products that requires a customer to try it like a spray a lotion body butters anything like that i will say consider sending a sample size so that your customers so that the customers that do come into the consignment shop try these things and help to sell your product because it's all about shelf talk right that's your way of shelf talking without actually being there by having a sample for your customers to try and have a little information about it so whosoever is in there working can tell them about the product because that really helps because customers ask questions right you also want to consider how long you'd like to do consignment how long you'd want to keep your products in these stores you know is this consignment thing something that you're trying for a three to six months period or are you just going to try it and see if you make any money from it definitely take that into consideration so you know that okay when this is done i may or may not keep it in the back of your head that consignment agreements don't always go forever some do some don't after a while, you might decide, look, this is not enough for me. It's not making any money. You can take your products out. So you want to consider that as well. And next thing that you want to think about is if your products will do good in the store. So I know it's your first time in the store, so you kind of don't know. But based on the, the location of the store, you can probably tell. And going in there and seeing what is in there, you might see how well your products might do. And, you know, all you can do is try it, right? But definitely, it's something to take into consideration as well. Now, if you did consider all those things and you still decide to go into a consignment agreement, Agreement, no worries here are some questions that I think you should have prepared for the store owner a very important question that I think you should ask is how do you track inventory a lot of consignment stores in my opinion don't have a proper way of tracking inventory a lot of them say you give them three items 
a lot of them have those three items under one tag so what that means is if there are three items and they're like all the same it's just one tag and you're left with okay you sold three items for such and such price and you receive and you receive x amount of money from those three items you don't know which one of those three items sold so when it comes on to your low inventory tracking you won't know what to you know what do you need to replenish when the time comes so you need to find out how they track their inventory it is good if they track it by item some some places do that some places do it by item which is good you know you also want to know if it's that are they going to email you when your inventory is low like are you you're going to get an email saying hey your inventory is low can you come replenish or is that left up to you to figure out based on your sales that were made right so those are good questions that you need to ask because you don't want to end up not having any inventory or your inventory being sold out there for the longest while when you could have replenished your, your inventory right so that's those are good questions to ask this i think is in your contract should be in your contract but what happens if you decide that you want to take your products out of the store before you know your six months period or your three month period what what's the procedure and how do you do that like you want to know that because what if it's not selling and you probably just change your mind or you you're doing something else so you no longer want to be in the store right so you want to ask those questions so you know how to go about this if something should happen what if the what if they decide to remove it off your shelf because of whatever reason you know do they contact you and say hey i am taking this thing off my shelf because of whatever reason x y and z how does that work you, know, you, you want to know those things right because you don't want to be left in the dark right you don't want to go in business with someone and then you're left in the dark so that's a, that's another thing as well after all these points this is what i think about consignment so owning a handmade skincare business do you do consignment or do you sell your sell your products to the store i prefer for a store to purchase my products this is why once they have it you don't have to worry about anything it's a done deal they already have it they have to keep it them they sell it you get your money up front and you move on with life consignment you have to wait until everything is sold until you get your money that can be very frustrating at times and what if your things goes bad while it's there like it's just not the same so i rather wholesale somebody buy a bulk and they just take it they go there i go mine no issues that's what i like with consignment with skincare i i think not everyone has the ability to sell skincare and skincare products don't do well in every store based on the packaging and based on what you know it's to me to me consignment for skincare i don't know something about i i guess because it it didn't work for me it probably will work for you but because it didn't work for me i never really like it so i'm more honestly i'm more into the wholesale because i get my money up front if you're that type of person and you want your money up front definitely opt for wholesale but if you find a consignment store that will do great with your products then go ahead and put your products in there so you can make that monthly money ultimately the decision is up to you so weigh your options and see what is right for you and what sits right inside of you right and nothing always try don't forget to try these things right but for me personally if i were to push my skincare a little more i would not do consignment i will continue a website and for stores i'd rather them to purchase wholesale and get your money up front and move on with life but that 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 option is so much more refreshing so much more bet so much easier like that i think for skincare that works wonders and for consignment local stores that's up to you so yes, yeah, so you know, I hope this I hope you find this video informative. I hope it helped make a decision. And thanks for watching. If you like this, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment, whatever it is that you need to do. If you have questions, drop them in the comment section. I'm on my road to 200 subscribers. So I'm on my road to 200 subscribers. So if you want to support me, you know, subscribe and help me get to that goal.